Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to be going over the best Fortnite players in the world at every letter from A to Z, so let's get right into it. Before I get into this list, this list will be based on my personal opinion and placements since Chapter 3 started. This is not an all-time list, but a list based on the player's most recent performances in FNCS and only competitive events, of course. Drop a like if you enjoyed this world ranking style of video and if I should do more, and subscribe if you're new so we can hit 3k subs. There's players from all six regions in this video, so every single region gets some love and holds the title for the greatest player at a certain letter. We are going to be going in alphabetical order, since it's the alphabet of course, and starting us off with A is none other than Acorn. Since the end of chapter 3, Acorn has asserted himself as one of the best players in the world. Since chapter 3 started, he has 13 cash cup wins and has gotten a top 7 in every single FNCS besides the FNCS Invitational, which he got 13th in. He also just won his second FNCS last season in chapter 4 season 1. Acorn has been placing at an insane rate and it feels like he's always top 3 in NA events recently. So without a doubt, A is Acorn. Moving on to letter B, we have the solo World Cup winner, Booga. Booga has been one of the best Fortnite players for a very, very long time. And in chapter three, he got first, second, and third in FNCS. He did not do so well at the FNCS Invitational, but he's still performing at such a high level currently. Chapter four has started off a bit slow, but with a 16th last season and a fifth this season in FNCS, I think Booga is primed to be back on the global stage at the FNCS Global Championship later this year. Next at the letter C, we have Cold, a player Player who is regarded as one of the best players in the world and one of the most insane fraggers we have ever seen. He got third at FNCS Invitational with Scented and just won Chapter 4 Season 1 FNCS with Acorn. He's been on fire since Chapter 3 started, getting top 6 in every single season since then besides the one season he and Scented got hard griefed in. He has also won 11 Cash Cups since Chapter 3 started and watching him run through Cash Cup lobbies is an insane sight to see. In FNCS recently, Cold has also gotten 6th in Chapter 4 Season 2, 5th in Chapter 3 Season 1, and 2nd in Chapter 3 Season 2, so overall just an absolutely insane player who has been performing at the highest level recently. Moving on to letter D, we have Dukes, who is coming off his third FNCS win this season. He got two fourth places in Chapter 3 FNCS and also got 13th at FNCS Invitational with clicks. Dukes has had some sneaky good placements and has the resume to be considered one of the best in A players of all time. He had a pretty slow start to Chapter 4 last season, getting 37th while not having a drop spot with Scented, and followed that up with an FNCS win. He also did this while IGLing for the first time ever, so that makes the win even crazier for him, to be honest honest. Next at E, we actually have Duke's teammate he just won with, Edgy. Some people may say it should be Yamzo, but I think it's Edgy and it's not even close. Edgy is coming off an FNCS win this season, a 22nd last season, a 13th at FNCS Invitational with Acorn, and then a 7th in Chapter 3 Season 3, and a 4th in Chapter 3 Season 2. A pretty good recent stretch of placements for one of the more disrespected players in the region of NA. I feel like Edgy isn't talked about as highly as he should be, and since he doesn't have the crazy fighting ability like some people have, and since he doesn't have the crazy fighting ability some people just instantly think he's bad or not as good as all the other tier ones on the region but i'm glad finally edgy got that fncs when he has been so close to get so many times in trios and got that respect put on in his name moving on to f we have the french canadian goat and one of my favorite players in fatch a super consistent player who got 20th in Chapter 3 Season 1, 9th in Chapter 3 Season 2, 3rd in Chapter 3 Season 3 to qualify to the FNCS Invitational, where he ended up getting 35th after a bad day too, but we don't have to get into that. He also had a strong opening to Chapter 4, getting 27th in Chapter 4 Season 1 while contested, and 7th in Chapter 4 Season 2. That's just one of the best Canadian players and also one of the most respected players in all of NA. It's also insane that Fatch has been performing for so long, all the way since World Cup in solos, which he got 10th in. Next at the letter G, we have our first non-NA player, Gentle, who is from the Middle East region. Gentle is a really solid player who just came short of qualifying to the FNCS Invitational, getting second in Chapter 3 Season 1. He's had some pretty solid placements after that, getting 14th in Chapter 3 Season 2, 8th in Chapter 3 Season 3, and 14th in both Chapter 4 Season 1 and Chapter 4 Season 2. He's one of the top Middle East players in terms of PR as well, and is actually the only Middle East player represented on this list. 
Moving on to H, we have our first EU player, Hellfire, who's a very solid player who hasn't had the greatest success recently since Chapter 3 started, but has done enough to represent H on the list. He got 9th in Chapter 3 Season 1, 12th in Chapter 3 Season 2, and 18th in Chapter 3 Season 3, so some pretty solid placements in the chapter, but nothing too insane. He also played at FNCS Invitational with Falconer, who quit Fortnite a while back and they got 43rd. And then in Chapter 4 so far, he's gotten 18th and 40th with Rest Guard, and they were conned this past season when they got 40th. Next, we have the letter I, and crazy enough, there actually aren't very many players at the pro level whose names start with I. Before our list, we have I Drop. Eyedrop is a solid pro on EU who got 17th in Chapter 3 Season 3, 31st at FNCS Invitational, and 32nd in Chapter 4 Season 1 with none other than the GOAT, Mr. Savage. So not the craziest placements, but in Chapter 4 Season 2, he got 7th place and is qualified for the FNCS Global Championship in October. So it's looking pretty good for Eyedrop currently. At the letter J, we have one of the greatest EU players of all time, Janice. He has been incredible since Chapter 3 started, getting 4th in Chapter 3 Season 1, 25th in Chapter 3 Season 2, Two and winning Chapter 3 Season 3 FNCS. Him and his duo Vadil did have lots of hype going into FNCS Invitational and ultimately didn't live up to the expectations, only getting 21st, but Janice has followed an impressive Chapter 3 up with a solid start to Chapter 4, getting 4th in Chapter 4 Season 1 and 14th in Chapter 4 Season 2 while contested. Janice has been one of the top pros on EU since the very beginning and will continue to make his presence known and will probably be representing EU at the FNCS Global Championship later this this year. Moving on to K, we have a pretty tough choice, choosing one of either Kitos, Kami, or Kanata, but I'm gonna have to go with the FNCS Invitational winner, Kami here. Kami has been one of the top EU pros lately. He's gone 20th in Chapter 3 Season 1, 5th in Chapter 3 Season 2, 9th in Chapter 3 Season 3, and then followed that up with the FNCS Invitational win with Seti, of course. And to start Chapter 4, him and Seti have gone 23rd and 5th and qualified to FNCS Global Championship, where they will look to go back-to-back -back at LAN. He also got 2nd at Dreamhack Summer last year as well, so overall he has been absolutely insane since Chapter 3 started. Next at letter L, we have our first and only OCE player, Looter. Looter is one of the best OCE players of all time, and a lot of you may remember him as the player who came from OCE to NAE with Speedy and Muzz, but it's better to not talk about how that went. Since moving back, Looter has been playing great again on his home region, and in Chapter 3 got 14th in Chapter 3 Season 1, 1st in Chapter 3 Season 2, and 15th in Chapter 3 Season 3. He did play at FNCS Invitation and ended up getting 47th, but it was with Muzz and not his actual duo Volks, who got banned for teaming in a solo cash cup just months prior to the land. So far in Chapter 4, Looter has continued to play at a high level on OCE, getting 2nd in Chapter 4 Season 1 and 9th in Chapter 4 Season 2 after barely even making it to Surge Week. Looter is arguably a top 3-5 to five player on OCE right now, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's at the FNCS Global Championship later this year. Moving on to the letter M, we have one of the toughest choices, choosing between Mero or Malabuka. Who are the best players currently playing? I'm gonna have to go with Malabuka here. Malabuka has been arguably the best player in the world since Chapter 3 started. He set record after record in Chapter 3 solo cash cups and has been consistent in every single cash cup in FNCS since Chapter 3 started. In FNCS, he has gotten 15th in Chapter 3 Season 1, 4th in Chapter 3 Season 2, 2nd in Chapter 3 Season 3, and then 16th at the FNCS Invitational, while contested. In Chapter 4, he has been just as good, getting 2nd in Chapter 4 Season 1 and 3rd in Chapter 4 Season 2 while contested this season. Alabuka has also won 11 cash cups since Chapter 3 started and is without a doubt a top player on EU and a top player in the world as well. Next, we have the letter N, and with that, we have our first Brazil player, Novis. Novis has been one of the best Brazil players recently and got 3rd in Chapter 3 Season 1, 5th in Chapter 3 Season 2, and 1st in Chapter 3 Season 3. Top 5 in every single season in chapter 3 is absolutely crazy. He didn't do too hot at FNCS Invitational getting 50th place, but so far in chapter 4 he's done pretty solid getting 4th in chapter 4 season 1 and 33rd in chapter 4 season 2. Moving on to O, we have another letter that doesn't really have too many players, but for this letter I'm gonna have to pick the controller god On One. On One was one of only 7 controller players that played at FNCS Invitational last year and got the best placement out of every controller player and every West team there, getting 24th place. He also got 7 in Chapter 3 Season 2 and 2nd in Chapter 3 Season 3, so overall a really impressive Chapter 3. Almond is regarded as one of the best controller fighters, and he also plays a really unique style using old, non-advanced sensitivity settings. It's going to continue to be interesting to see if Almond can be one of the best control players on a bigger region being NA Central. 
Next at letter P, we have PH Zinn, who I think is one of the most underrated players in the entire world. PH Zinn is a five-time FNCS champion and has been insane since Chapter 3 started. He got first in Chapter 3 Season 1, 10th in Chapter 3 Season 2, 17th in Chapter 3 Season 3, and then followed that up with the highest placement from a Brazil team at LAN, with a 5th at FNCS Invitational. To start Chapter 4, he has been just as solid, winning Chapter 4 Season 1 and getting 4th in Chapter 4 Season 2. He's also won 9 Cash Cups since Chapter 3 started, and I believe he is one of the best players in Brazil, if not the best, and also highly underrated in a world aspect. Letter Q is a pretty easy one. We have Queezy, who is probably the best IGL in the world currently. Queezy has mastered the high ground and it showed in this past FNCS when he won an insane six out of the 12 games. He produces time and time again on EU, which is the so-called hardest region. In chapter three, he got first in season one and eighth in both season two and three. He also got second at FNCS Invitational and almost made one of the craziest plays ever when he landed on Kami to try and win the tourney. In chapter four, he has continued to be dominant, getting fourth in chapter four season one and first in chapter four season two. This isn't the end of his dominance either as he's won 13 cash cups since chapter three started. In chapter three and chapter four alone, he has had better placements than 99% of pros in their entire careers, Weezy is going to continue to dominate the high ground and be one of the best players in the world moving forward. Moving on to the letter R, we have another Asia player in Runa. Runa is one of the most decorated Asia players ever, being a three-time FNCS winner, and two of those FNCS wins have came since Chapter 3 started. In Chapter 3 Season 1 and Chapter 3 Season 2, he won back-to-back -back FNCS championships on Asia. He followed that up by getting 4th in Chapter 3 Season 3, and then got 34th at FNCS Invitational, so a very, very good Chapter 3 for Runa. In Chapter 4, he's done solid as well, getting 4th in Chapter 4 Season 1 and 29th in Chapter 4 Season 2. Two FNCS wins and two fourth places in the past five FNCSs, so an absolutely incredible streak he has going on. At S, we have the other half of the FNCS Invitational winning duo. We have Seti. Seti has been amazing since Chapter 3 started, with his two biggest wins being on LAN at FNCS Invitational and DreamHack Sweden, where he took first place in each of those tournaments. Seti is a two-time FNCS winner on EU and has been one of the best players on the region since late Chapter 2. Moving on to T, we have the closest choice between every single letter, Payson and Thomas HD, two of the best players in the world and it's really hard to choose, but for T, I'm going to have to go with Taysen. Taysen is arguably the greatest player of all time and is the only player in the world to have over 1 million online earnings, unless you count an OS winning Mr. Beast's tourney, of course. Taysen, when he has been uncon on EU, has been amazing. And in Chapter 3, he got 3rd in Chapter 3 Season 1, 2nd in Chapter 3 Season 2, 23rd in Chapter 3 Season 3, and 32nd at FNCS Invitational, his 23rd and 32nd of course being contested. In Chapter 4 he won his 5th FNCS Championship in Season 1 and got 2nd in Chapter 4 Season 2 so far. It's insane how consistent he has been since winning his first FNCS in Chapter 2 Season 3 solos. Jason will probably go down as the greatest Fortnite player in history if he can get a top land placement and even without a great land placement he's already been heavily considered the best player of all time. Moving on to U, we once again have another letter where there's just not much to choose from. And for U, we have Users. Users is a pretty solid IGL on NA who has been contested a lot in his career. He got 14th in Chapter 3 Season 1, 23rd in Chapter 3 Season 2, 40th in Chapter 3 Season 3, and 36th in Chapter 4 Season 1. And most of these are while he was contested. Users is still a pretty solid IGL and if he can ever be lucky enough to be uncontested, would probably do pretty well. Next, we have letter V, and with this, we have the best player in the world currently in Vino. Vino has won two FNCSs since Chapter 3 started, and they both were in the second season of each chapter, both Chapter 3 Season 2 and Chapter 4 Season 2. He has also had some really good placements, getting 12th in Chapter 3 Season 1, 8th in Chapter 3 Season 3, and 4th in Chapter 4 Season 1. He did all of this and also almost won the FNCS Invitational last chapter with Queezy when they got second place. He also has won 11 Cash Cups since Chapter Chapter 3 started and has been absolutely incredible. Vino is the current best player in the world and will probably continue being this for a while. He has an insane work ethic and will continue to win and keep dominating because of this. Moving on to W, we have another Asia player, Wixie, a very consistent player on Asia who has had some solid placements since Chapter 3 started, getting 8th in Chapter 3 Season 1, 2nd in Chapter 3 Season 2, 8th in Chapter 3 Season 3, 3rd in Chapter 4 Season 1, and 11th in Chapter 4 Season 2. He would have participated at the FNCS Invitational if it wasn't for some visa issues. Hopefully Wixie qualifies to the Global Championship this year so we can finally see him play on the global stage, which he should have last year. 
Next to X, we have the Brazil player Z. Z is one of the best pros on Brazil and also got top 10 at FNCS Invitational last year with his duo KBR. In FNCS, he has gone fourth in Chapter 3 Season 1, first in Chapter 3 Season 2, 20th in Chapter 3 Season 3, and ninth at the FNCS Invitational last year. He has also gone ninth in Chapter 4 Season 1 and 25th in Chapter 4 Season 2, so far in Chapter 4. Z is a two-time FNCS winner and will be looking to punch his ticket back to the global land next season and repeat as a top 10 team in the world. Moving on to letter Y, we have Yumi from NA. Yumi won FNCS on West in Chapter 3 and has been a pretty solid placer ever since. He got 25th at FNCS Invitational and that was good enough for the second highest placement from a West team. Yumi has had some decent placements since winning FNCS in Chapter 3 Season 3, getting 16th in Chapter 4 Season 1, but did not qualify to Grands in his first season on NA Central. He's looking to get situated in the larger region and is hoping to make it back to the global land stage once again. And last but not least, letter Z, we have Zagu, who is the best player on Asia. Zagu has been absolutely dominating since the end of Chapter 3, where he's won two FNCSs, one in Chapter 3 Season 3, and one in Chapter 4 Season 1. He also just got second in Chapter 4 Season 2. So in the past three FNCS seasons, he's gone first, first, and second. At FNCS Invitational, he got 25th. So a lot to prove on a larger level for him, but he's definitely good enough to prove himself on the global level. Zagu has also won 12 Cash Cups since Chapter 3 started, so he has been going absolutely insane as of recent. Zagu, I think, is the most underrated player in the world and doesn't really get the attention he deserves since he plays on a smaller region, being Asia. I'm hoping for Zagu to pop off come October at the FNCS Global Championship and show people just how good he is. That's it for my list on the best players in Fortnite from A to Z. If you think someone got snubbed at a letter, make sure to comment down below who you think is missing from my list. Also, let me know who I got right as well and how many you agree with. I'm going to try and get some more regions involved in some of my content just like this, but for the best NA news, updates, and other types of videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and never miss out on anything related to NA Fortnite or Fortnite news in general. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it would mean a lot if you guys dropped a like on it. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.